All right, so the first thing you're gonna want for this craft is a phone case, and I just got this plastic clear one. You can choose any design or any color you want. I got this for extremely cheap on eBay, and you can see it already is a little dirty It's because I've been using it for a few days. Just make sure your case is a hard plastic. Do not get one of the rubber silicone ones. This design will not work on those. For the whip, you're gonna need some silicone. Um, I chose clear, you can get white if you want. It doesn't really matter, it's all up to you. Stop rolling. You're gonna want a little throwaway plastic bowl if you're planning on coloring or adding glitter to the whip. You're also gonna need a strong Ziploc bag, some tape, and a frosting nib. You can choose whatever tip you would like. This is just the one that makes the design that I like the most. And now for decorations. As you can see, I am making a Christmas themed case for this season. And these are little scrapbooking images. Some of them are hard plastic and they will last a bit longer. Other ones that are more of a fabric base, they will not last as long on a case. But since I'm doing such a seasonal case, I don't mind because it doesn't have to last me longer than a month. But the more plasticky or metal decodins will last a lot longer on your case. A quick tip for anyone who does want to use these little scrapbooking pieces, because some of them are made of paper, or you can see these starfish that I have that are real starfish, they're not very strong. What I did was I just quickly mixed up some easy cast resin and I poured this over the starfish as well as little scrapbooking paper or fabric decals to make them stronger for my case. And this actually worked extremely well. Go ahead and protect your work area. I use just a piece of wax paper or a newspaper. So now I'm gonna be mixing my silicone to make it glittery. So silicone comes in two kinds of packaging. This one right here is actually a hand tube so you can just squeeze it out. This type of silicone goes in a gun. So this is a silicone gun. All you have to do is insert the tube into the gun and you just kind of pull the trigger and it tightens it and it will start to shoot out the silicone. Make sure you pour yourself enough silicone not only to cover your cell phone case depending on the size but also to have enough to practice with. So if you want to color your silicone, go ahead and add some paint to the mixture now and stir it up. Because mine is Christmas themed, I'm actually leaving it clear to kind of make it look like snow and I'm gonna be adding glitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut off the tip of the plastic bag. Insert your frosting tip and you're just gonna scoop your silicone into your bag. and you are ready to start piping out your case. And it's a really good idea to practice your shape first so you kind of get the hang of using the bag and the tip. I like to kind of go down in rows, but you can make whatever design you want. And as you can see, mine still are not very even. Some are smaller, some are bigger, and they're not like in perfect rows, but that's okay. It all takes practice. You can do it however you want. A lot of the times I will just lay out a design right next to it and then start to put it onto the case, starting from the pieces I want on the bottom and leaving the pieces I put on top for last. You can go ahead and add more silicone as you want to stick pieces on to make them raised or higher, but I will warn you that the silicone is actually pretty heavy. So the more you put on, the heavier your case is going to be. Make sure not to block your camera. I did that the first time and it was very regretful. And you don't always have to use silicone to put the pieces on. Sometimes if I'm layering pieces over one another, I'll just tack it on with a little bit of super glue to make sure that it stays. So this side is attached by the silicone, but this needed a little super glue right there to attach to the other stocking. And this is my all time favorite craft glue for everything so this is just a good glue to have it is rather on the more expensive side but I seriously use it for everything I trust it with shoes that means I've glued my heels back on my shoes and I've trusted this glue enough to walk on it 
So usually I'll add the jewels with a small pair of tweezers and usually I'll add a tack of glue to the back of them just in case. These are usually the items that fall off first. Whether I stick it in the silicone or I stick it somewhere else like right here, just it's better to have the glue on it that way I can place it wherever I want. Ta-da! So make sure you let this dry for at least 24 hours. Um, I can touch the edge right now and it is not sticky anymore, it doesn't come off on my finger, but it is still very soft and that's why I was able to press all of these things into it. Yeah, so go ahead and let this sit for at least a day, maybe two days. The longer the better, you don't want to ruin it. So this is the finished phone case. Um, I've been using it for about two weeks now. And as you can see, it's holding up really well. I've lost one diamond up here, and then of like the tops, the presents have fallen off, but these are just like felt. They're not made to last very long. Um, and that's about it. Um, a flower fell off, but I just glued it back on with super glue. So uh, most of it is pretty easy to repair, and it does hold up very, very nice. So for the most part, I will make a phone case pretty much for any season or any new holiday. So especially ones like this um, that I will only use for like a month at a time. They'll last me for that month, but probably not much longer because um, the pieces will start to fall off. But if you do want to make one for a longer time, go ahead and pour resin onto those soft pieces to make them hard and more sturdy and it will last you a lot longer. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and you have a fun new phone case. Not necessarily for Christmas, this was just the season that I made this, but just an awesome new phone case to have any time of the year. Don't forget to like and favorite this video and to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I totally just noticed that you can probably see the reflection of the camera in my glasses, but I guess we're gonna have to deal with that.